Hello from Shrex and hello from Smarthood. Welcome back guys to part 1 tutorial of selectors in Android. Now let's proceed. Now earlier we made a layout. By default our button is dark green in color but we want when user press on this button it should change its image or it should change its background. So for that purpose on the pressed state our button should look like this. So how we are gonna do it? For that we have to create a new XML layout buttonstates.xml and store it inside our drawable folder. Now this XML file guys we don't have to design any new layout in this XML file. In this XML file we have to use selectors as a tag inside it. Now what is selector? This selector will help us to decide the background image depending on the state of the button. Now for the default value we have to write a tag item android drawable add the drawable slash button underscore background underscore default. Now this image that we saw in the previous tutorial it will make our application button look like this right. This is the default state of the button. Now we want in the press state our button should look like this right. So for that we have to define another item tag inside our parent selector tag right. For that we have to define another item and we have to declare android state pressed equal to true and Android drawable equal to button underscore background underscore pressed. Now this button background pressed is actually the PNG file and it is the name of an image. Now when the program will be executed under the press state our button will simply look like this. It is going to change the color from dark green to light green. Now we are now having the third tag also. Now this tag is a state focus tag that we are not going to use in our smartphones. Now it is of no use as of now because this state focused is only used when the user is using a d-pad or trackball. So, so state pressed and state default is of our primary concern as of now. Now how we are going to link our XML layout of frontpage.xml with the button states.xml. Now earlier our code of the button was like this android background at the drawable and name of the image. Now this image as we saw in the previous tutorial was a dark green background as you can see here at the default state right. Now we have to make some changes in the attribute of our button widget. For that we have to write the attribute as background equal to add the drawable slash button states. Now this is our new XML codes of our button of the front page dot XML right. Now this button states is nothing but button states dot XML. So when you are going to run your application then this button will draw all its images from the button states.xml. When the application is running then by default button states.xml will send this image as a default image to this button widget. So a dark green background will be visible to the user. Now as soon as the user press this button then this button states.xml will send this button background pressed image that means this light green image to this button widget and the button widget will display the light green image at the background of the simple question button. So if your concepts are not getting clear in this tutorial guys don't worry about it in the next video I am going to show you the codes in action in the eclipse itself. So meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below my video. This is Shrek from Smart Heart signing off and have a good day thank you.